So I'm going to tell you to rate a song. So out of 10. It's tough. Yeah, it's actually hard. Like, I actually with it. It's raw. Mm -hmm. with us. So you like it? Yeah, yeah. You like the beat, the lyrics? Yeah, it? that's hard, bro. That's so, hard. What if I told you it's Christian rap? What would you say? Still hard. I still fuck with it. Yeah. So it's not corny? Not really. No. I'm gonna show you a song and then just put your honest opinion, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Part two. The road get rocky again. I'm back in this thing and I brought me a friend. The sound. Oh, beat, the beat's pretty good. The beat's pretty good. I'll rate it because the lyrics are pretty flowy. 8.9. Did you know that that was actually Christian rap? Who? Christian rap. Who's that? Could you tell that that was Christian rap? No. Like people think Christian rap is corny, but. You just have to find the right people. Makes sense. Yeah. What do you, are you Christian? Do you believe in God and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah. So what do you think is going to happen after you die? Uh, I might go to heaven. You might go? Uh, it's, it's all about life's choices, you know? Yeah, like we, we all deserve to go to hell because we've all done bad stuff, you know? Technically. So that's why we need Jesus, the perfect human, to come in. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So it's not just believing in God, it's putting your faith in God. Yes. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And... Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a song and you just rate it, okay? Alright, for sure. They gon' say I'm quiet. I don't talk enough. I can't even lie. Every time, got the block with us. Wait, I can't lie. I'ma sauce it up. Get in with the king. In the kingdom, ain't no stopping us. Yeah, man. Just so what's your first impression? Just rock. That's so hard. You like the the lyrics, the beat? Yeah, man. The melody's good. Goes with the yeah. flow of the words. Yeah. So what would you say if I told you it's Christian rap? Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. So you would you wouldn't say it's corny? No. Yeah, because a lot of people say it's corny. What do you think about, like, do you believe in God and stuff like that? Very much. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know, like, this universe couldn't come out of nothing. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. God, I mean someone had to do something. Yeah, like, we're not, like, I think people think that Christians are, like, unscientific and stuff, but that's not all of them. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. So do you I think... I mean, how can, how can science explain when there was nothing <laughs> to explain, you know? Yeah, like, the scientific method could only prove material things, you know? Right, like... Who really knows what happened, you know? Like, it was millions of years ago when, like, not even the atoms were existing, you know? So do you think you would go to heaven if you died right now? Easily. Easy? Easy. So why do you think that? Because I accept God as my Lord and Savior. So I'm going to go... I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to go through a little test to see if you would make it to heaven, okay? Oh, it's about to get serious. So... I don't, I don't know Bible like that, man. No, it's, it's going to be like... It's going to be simple. So have you ever lied before? Yes. So what do you call someone who lies? A sinner. A liar, right? And this isn't to judge you, I'm just saying. No, no, no. So have you stole anything? Yes. Stolen? Yeah. So what do you call someone who steals? A thief. A thief? Yeah. So have you ever cheated on anyone or anything? Yes. And then have you ever, like, disrespected your parents in any way? Yeah. Have you ever had sex outside of marriage or something? No, I'm still a virgin. Just based on, like, some of those things, do you think you would make it to heaven? Like be guilty or innocent uh, I would definitely be guilty but since Lord put his son and his only son on the cross for us to wipe away our sins and since I accept him as my Savior I from what we read in the Bible I should be good yeah so that's that's what I was gonna say is like we're all guilty like we all deserve to go to hell because God is a good God right, but God never made a mistake yeah and like he was only he was always respect his parents he always did what he was told like yeah. he did what he needed to do and like that's why we have to put our trust in him because he loves us so much he doesn't want us to go to hell right so that's why we have to believe in him because he was the perfect person right. yeah so would you say because there's people that believe in god but have you put your faith in god oh 100 percent. yeah there's no reason why i didn't or haven't put my faith in god like my dad passed away a couple years ago bro and honestly it's i've come to peace with it and like since that i met this one girl she me up bad like bad bad my bad am i allowed to i'm not allowed to curse oh, it's okay it's okay i'll bleep it out all right all right but yeah no man she messed me up uh but so after that i got real close with god and i like started explaining a lot more in my head like why things were happening to me yeah. like because uh somebody like I, I don't go to church no more man but like when i did people were saying like everything happens for a reason like yeah, god closes a door and then he opens a window yeah for you like or like one door closes and another one opens yeah so like me as me seeing that my dad passed i feel like that's god saying okay yeah it's your turn to shine like it's your turn to 
prevail as because I'm, I'm 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 named after like after six. I'm I'm the I'm Thomas Miller the fifth. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm named after a generation, and I plan on naming my son Thomas Miller the sixth. So I definitely think that God could use that, but I don't want you to feel guilty. Like, let's say something bad happens, I don't want you to blame God because it's not no, no, God's no, no, fault. No, 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 it's not His fault whatsoever. Yeah, because He has a plan, and everybody, and eventually everybody needs to back to the home. Well, it was nice talking to you.